up everybody, Cam Chops here with another tutorial on how to get your mining profits from Bittrex over to Coinbase. Stick around. Alright guys, with that with, uh, being said, we're going to jump right in. So, you've been mining some of whichever coin in my... Uh, certain instance here it's going to be ethereum um, so you can see that my payouts and rounds i've actually had a payout on 531 so a couple days ago uh, i've been meaning to make this video i'm actually super excited about this video because uh, a lot of people ask me you know what, what's the next step how do I, how do i get my funds um to me you know how, how, how do i how do i you know withdraw this stuff how do i take care of that so Essentially, you're going to have a payment. This particular payment has been sent to my Bittrex account. Uh, so let me go ahead and... Oh, technical difficulties. Just can Let me go ahead and log in here. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Shoes. Find the shoes. Hope I got it right. Alright, there we go. So, here we are in Bittrex. We have our wallets here. As you can see, I'm actually going to click this right here to hide any zero balances. You can see what I'm working with here. You can see I have some Ripple, some Litecoin, ETH. Okay, so there is my ETH right there. And it's been deposited. So you can see on the previous screen there that they have paid me one full ethereum however miners take a cut and that's what i'm doing that's how i make my money so just like you would take your money swipe your card at a visa visa you know charges the person a certain percentage that's what miners do so they they actually uh, take this this money um solve the transactions is it a true transaction how much is it who's it to and from etc i have four gpus mining that and i get paid for that another quick source of income it's amazing so on this page you're going to see ethereum so this is what we're going to be doing i'm going to take my ethereum i'm going to take it to coinbase and i'm going to show you guys actually how to withdraw it so it's uh super exciting right here if i wanted to deposit something such as bitcoin whatever i would hit on a plus but instead i am withdrawing so i'm going to hit the minus sign here so you can see what address do I want to go to? How much how much Ethereum do I want to withdraw? And transition fee. Once again, minor fee right there. So let's put in point. Let's put in this amount right here. Okay. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna paste it down in here. This is how much I want to take out. You could take out less or more or whatever you want to do. That's fine. Um, it's actually going to you see how it shows 0 0.001 ethereum so that's the uh, miners fee or trend uh, transaction fee and now we need our hex address so where are we sending this to that's when we're going to go to coinbase we're going to go ahead and sign in don't want to save this i got my two-step verification that i talked about in a previous video set up this is just another form of uh, security so that no one can just log in uh, without my permission. I love it. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to view our accounts. So we have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, US dollars. We're going to view our accounts here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now we have our wallets, okay? So Bitcoin wallet, Ethereum wallet, Litecoin wallet, USD wallet. We want to deposit into this Ethereum wallet. So we're going to click on that guy. You can see all the transactions that have gone through, whether I've sold, bought, um, you know, here's some mining fees right here. So I've been paid to, to mine. Go over to here, wallet address, click on that, and here's your address. So you're going to copy this. As you can see, do, don't ever mine directly to Coinbase because they're wallet numbers change over time 
this wall address may be different next time that I go to deposit. So you're going to copy this address. We're going to go back to here and I'm going to send it to this address now. I'm going to click withdraw. I'm going to look over this. Does this look good? After clicking confirm, you will receive an email with a link to verify your withdrawal. You're going to have to log in and actually click that in order to verify that you actually want to withdraw this amount. Just another step of confirmation there. Kind of like that. As you can see up top here, your withdrawal is submitted. It's going to take some time for this to actually go through. It does take uh, a bit of time. Uh, so we're going to go to positive visit. We're going to come back and you'll see what we do on the next step. All right, guys, we're back. As you can see, pending withdrawal is no longer in the pending uh, area. If we hit refresh here, we can see 6-1-2017. We have completed this transaction. It has been done. Um, you can actually see uh, which address and the tra transaction ID here. That's kind of like your, um, uh, you know, your transaction number, if you will. And we head to Coinbase. Let's go back to our Ethereum wallet. What you're going to see now is you're going to actually see this received Ethereum pending 0.9977004 which is worth $225.87 at the moment. So we're going to pause the video once this goes through. I'm actually going to show you guys how to subtract this, take this out and actually put it into your bank account. Pretty cool. Stick around guys, we'll be right back. Right after that guys, you're going to get an email that says you just received X amount of Ethereum. You just received Ethereum worth that amount from an external Ethereum account. It may take up to three network confirmations before your Ethereum is available to trade. So we're going to uh, come right back after those uh, network confirmations last blocks have been figured out and then we'll go ahead and withdraw into our bank account. Stick around. One thing I did want to show you guys, I thought it was pretty cool, is you can actually click on this pending and you can actually see uh, you know how many transactions are pending uh, you know kind of when uh, this went through and you can actually click on this confirmate 21 confirmations you can actually see where your block is and uh, what the timestamp of this was it's pretty cool you just click on that link it's gonna give you a little bit more information so super super cool there all right everybody and we are back so I want to say it took approximately 15 minutes to actually receive this ethereum you know, you have miners, you have all the transactions within a certain block that need to be done. Um, so it does take some time. So with that being said, I did want to go over one more tab. This is the send and request tab. Uh, I had talked about this in previous videos. So let me show you how real quick how that goes. And then we'll go into the withdrawal of the actual Ethereum into my bank account. I'm going to tell you why it's better to do bank account as opposed to back to a debit card in just one moment. So here we go. Let's say we wanted to send some Ethereum to someone or a certain address, right? So we're actually going to send, well actually in this particular uh, instance it's going to be Bitcoin, but let's, do, let's just say it's Ethereum. So we're going to send it to this particular address. Now, remember what we withdrew before, let's say we wanted to deposit we're gonna hit the plus sign that's gonna give us an address same thing as we did before we're actually gonna copy this address and so now we're gonna actually be depositing we would paste this address in we're gonna say how much would we like to send let's say you just want to send 0.5 it's actually gonna tell you what your network fee is or the miner fee and then you would send funds just like we withdrew is just kind of the opposite. You could send an email address here if you wanted to. That's okay. And then they would, you know, there would be a lick to click. Uh, <laughs> there would be a lick, a link to click. Um, and then if you wanted to request, same type of thing, you could request um, from a certain address, whichever amount. 
you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin within Coinbase. Hope that, tell, hope that tells you, you know, kind of how to do that. Now that we've actually received Ethereum, now we want to sell it. So we received it. It is still worth Ethereum. So we want to sell that now. We don't want to buy it. We want to go to our Ethereum wallet where we have this. Alternatively, I could actually let this sit in there and wait till it goes up to 300 and then boom, I could have, you know, $300 worth. That would probably cover my fees and all that stuff. But for the sake of this video, I wanted to show you how to do this. So Ethereum, you could actually cash it out into your wallet within Coinbase and then buy other coins. That's okay too. Um, or you could choose uh, your bank account, which I'm going to show you how to do, or you could add another payment method, other payment methods. It looks like you could go to the to the Visa or etc. I highly recommend just using your actual bank account. It's going to be less fees overall. Okay, so now we have the Bitcoin wallet going to my bank account. We're actually going to put in how much Ethereum we want to pull out. Or you could put it in dollars. I could pull out $200 if I wanted to, or $50, and then keep the rest in there. But I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to pull it out. 0 0.997. Seven four three four one. It's gonna cost me the two hundred and twenty-five dollars and fifteen cents. Plus your fee is three dollars. So this is what I'm gonna receive. So I'm saying, hey, this is how much I'm gonna pull out. This is the fees. This is the total payout. It's gonna cost me some. Once again, we're we're sending a transaction. There's gonna be miners fees included. And it looks like it's going to be available Tuesday. Uh, today is Friday. They go by business days. It usually takes, let's say I did it on a Monday. It's usually there in a day or two. Not even joking. They're super, super quick there. But I'm going to I'm gonna take care of this now just to show you kind of how it goes. Let's see, we've got this much. Make sure my numbers are correct here. All right, there we go. 224 at the current price. This is what it's going to be. Sell Ethereum. Confirm. And there we go. That's what we've done. So you've successfully taken it out. We did have some money here. And now we're back to this balance right here. We have no Ethereum. We've sold all of it. And you guys have learned how to take your particular money, take it from your miner from your Bittrex wallet back into the Coinbase, uh, Coinbase wallet and take it out to your bank account. I hope this video was informative for you. If I've missed anything, if you want any particular videos in the future, leave your comments down below. As always, like, click, subscribe. Thank you so much. Until next time, everybody have a great day.